Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, we've got more information on the upcoming Fallout Prime video series with details from the teaser shown off at this year's Gamescom. Plus, Zack Snyder tells us just how long Rebel Moon will be on Netflix and some disturbing images from the upcoming One Piece live action adaptation. All this in today's Fix. Let's drop. <laughs> Todd Howard gave us all a pleasant surprise at this year's Gamescom when he dropped a nice teaser for the upcoming Prime video series Fallout based on the storied video game franchise. Now, in the teaser, we see glimpses of the Brotherhood of Steel. Now, fans of the Fallout series will definitely remember them as they've appeared in every single game in the franchise in some form or fashion. Now, the trailer also featured various nuclear explosions, a vault opening, and Walton Goggins as a ghoul character, which are people from the video game that have lost their flesh due to the nuclear radiation. Now, as of the recording of this video, the teaser has yet to be released publicly, but for those in attendance at Gamescom this year, it was apparently a sight to behold. Now, the visual effects and production quality were reportedly impressive, telling us that Prime Video is putting some major money behind this particular project. Now, as for where the show takes place, Prime Video tweeted out this image that pinpoints it as Vault 33 in Los Angeles. Now, as for the story, Todd Howard confirmed last year that it'll be different from anything that played out in the video games. Now, he went on the Lex Friedman podcast and had this to say about Fallout's story. When it was, people would say they want to make a movie, they wanted to, you know, tell the story of Fallout 3 or then tell the story of Fallout 4. And for this, it was hey, let's do something that exists in the world of Fallout. It's not retelling a game story. It's basically, you know, an area of the map. And like, let's tell a story here that fits in the world that we have built, doesn't, you know, break any of the rules, um, can reference things in the games, but isn't a retelling of the games that exists in the same world, but is its own unique thing. So it adds to it, while also people who don't, haven't played the games, who can't experience like how crazy cool Fallout is, um, can watch the series and so. Now that's honestly a good thing, as the world of Fallout is massive and it'd be nice to see a part of this universe that hasn't already been explored in the games. Now the Gamescom teaser ended by revealing that the series will be released in 2024. So the video game adaptation will find its way out of the vault real soon. Now with Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan helming the series, all eyes will be watching to see what Fallout is like. All right, now speaking of adaptations, Netflix is gearing up for the release of One Piece, the live action adaptation of the anime series. And we've got some new images released showing the attention to detail the team is taking to making sure it's accurate to the source material. Now Netflix released these images showing the transponder snails, which fans will more than recognize from the anime and manga. Now they definitely look more creepy in real life than they do in the anime for sure. Now in the anime, at least they have a bit of a cutesy charm to them. Now no matter what they look like, I'm just glad they were able to bring them to life in the live action adaptation. Now, I was definitely on the fence when this Netflix series was first announced, but the more I see of it, the more I have a little more faith in it being done right. We'll have to wait and see come August 31st what One Piece is all about. And finally, Zack Snyder revealed to us here at IGN the runtime for Rebel Moon. And it was at this year's Gamescom where our very own Damon Hatfield sat down with both Zack and Deborah Snyder to discuss the film. Take a look. Uh, movie two were still Still working cutting, on. so I don't gotcha. know the exact runtime, but they're about two hours each. Gotcha. The, the the movies themselves, right around two hours. I think movie two is under two hours, um, but uh, right now. You know that that clip is actually longer than that. There's probably going to be a Snyder cut of it releasing very soon. It seems the first movie is two hours, with the second one being just under two hours as of right now. Now the director is still having the second film edited, so it might come out even longer. But will the complete Rebel Moon experience take the mantle of longest Snyder movie from the four hour and two minute long Snyder cut of Justice League? Well, either way, if you're a fan of his work, you'll be eating very well when the first part of Rebel Moon hits Netflix December 22nd. All right, and that about does it for today's entertainment fix. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.